And Martina's got such a great vibe. Just so great to have to the show. It's really nice having like a younger energy as well. Mm. Also just makes me realize how old I am. Yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is such a generation gap. But isn't it nice? Belly shirt. Well, well you can't see it. It looks like a tank top. You can't be like, I'm so old. And then be that, like, God. <laughs> Okay, whoa, watch where you point that thing. Pretty crazy, that was a fun, that was fun. That was like also my first time coming back to Calgary. We did episode four, cause we shot out of order. So I got, got to see Jeremy exactly where he was, which was nice. Do you see that red button? Yes. Never use it. It's such a great development. Like I love where everybody's at in the time jump. It's just so crazy to see how much we've grown in like darker ways and in more mysterious ways. And then Winona has to play catch up with everybody. And in Jeremy's case, he's just like barely holding on to try and like balance all these forces that will destroy purgatory. And then Winona enters and he's like, oh, this is only gonna make this worse right now. I really love where he's at. And I think uh, it adds like a complexity, a moral complexity to the character this season. That's nice. I'm excited to see it too. God, I don't even know why I put that in there. There's the constant Please. panic and second guessing I've missed. Doc's been on both sides of the law so much and why Nona really hates law enforcement. So I think it's funny that they're at odds where Doc has taken up the mantle of being a guy who's gonna rob a stagecoach and why Nona is basically the guard on the stagecoach. But what I thought was so amazing about the way Mel and Tim played the scene is like, they're both like mad at each other, but also kind of embarrassed. Like, cause they've both been caught, right? Kind of like working for the man, like, doing something sort of like Doc's doing it for Eamon and Winona's a driver for Black Bad. So they're sort of embarrassed and they take that embarrassment and put it on the other person. And and forgive oh me if God, I'm it's wrong. It's so funny. Like, I'm pretty sure it got sexy. It was very sexy. Yeah, there was something, cl closeness in a, in a van, sexy. a back of a van, if I'm remembering correctly. And something going on there. I know you. So the costume was like a latexy, plasticky bodysuit. And then they did makeup, which included like pieces of wool and like uh, thread. And then they painted, like it was very involved and it took a long time to get on the poor guy. And he, it was freezing. And he, God bless him, was trying to power through. And for Winona, he had to be like the scariest it, for her it was a psychological fear she had to the reaper because she could feel that there was like a a distant uh a deep knowing between the two of them and um so for her it was kind of uh just constantly be, like max fear it was her max fear um which was exhausting to play especially when we were battling the elements i am here my love The problem with filmmaking, the process itself is a little bit crazy. Hello. I um thought that this maybe might look cool on you. The two young actors are just lovely, Billy and Martina. It's really cool seeing them, you know, being a little younger and bringing that energy to the set. My first week of filming has been amazing. It's been so great to meet the cast and the crew and everyone was so welcoming and my first day on set was just incredible because I had just watched the show and so, you know, going into the homestead and um, seeing all that was just incredible and it was so exciting. It's been crazy to join this family. Um, they're so tight-knit. I've only been here for a couple days. This is my first day shooting, but everybody is so nice. Everybody gets along so well and I, I do understand why people call it a family and uh, it's, it's been great so far. Uh, right hand back a bit and just open up to camera a tiny bit. There we go. And action. Stay the hell away from her. Oh, don't hurt him. There's something wrong with him. What's wrong is my family. Poor guy. It's like his first day on set. We're like, okay, so we're just gonna like shove this like massive fake tooth in your mouth. Like proper gross brother thing all the way back. He's like gagging. Pulling out my tooth was super weird. It was an insanely weird experience. Um, it's the blood that they have is so sweet, like almost sickeningly sweet. 
The root of the tooth is so long that it's so far into my mouth that I was kind of gagging and pulling it out and trying not to uh, vomit during the middle of the scene, which I think might add something, hopefully, uh, to the, the performance. I hope that a lot of you know, the younger fans will be able to see themselves in those characters. Um, the dynamic is a wicked addition. Cut. Great. Awesome. Really interesting storyline uh, for 404 as we get to go onto the Clanton Ranch. We've got this really interesting relationship between Ma'am and Nicole. Some sort of sneaky deal has been done. Nicole has definitely agreed to do something she is really, really regretting and I think sort of terrified about the ramifications of what she's kind of set in motion. It's time for you to deliver. Stay away from us. I am really loving that storyline to get to see them go on the ranch, to meet the family, to realize that they're Clantons, to realize they're all connected. And then, of course, this cliffhanger at the end of 404 where ma'am opens this jar and this weird smoke sort of envelops Nicole. I'm super intrigued to see what that is, what she did, what's going to happen to her. Um, and basically what she's gotten herself into. So very intrigued, especially about the end of 404, to see where we're going from there.